Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I had a member question about the uh, Type on Path tool and how to resize it when it's possibly already typed up. Okay, and there's actually a really easy way to do this instead of uh, getting uh, another circle and having to redo it. And I want to show you. Okay, so I have this. Well, maybe I want it to meet. I want it to meet right here. Well, how can I do that? Well, I have to retype it, right? I have to get a smaller circle. No, not necessarily. Let's come over here to this. Let's hit this. Let's, let's decrease our offset. Oops, I forgot. I have to highlight it all. Let's come in here and let's highlight it all. And we're going to start and we're going to make it smaller. Okay. And then we're going to start and we're going to start decreasing it. No. Let's increase this tracking a little bit. That's going to start to thin it out a little. Okay. Let's do this again. All right. So there we go. Let's bring it in again. Okay. Let's maybe pull it out just a wee bit. That looks okay to me. All right. Now, so there it is. There it is all typed out. If I do not want to go fetch me another circle and try to type, try to figure out what size of circle I need so that it all meets. Okay? So it's just using the offset and the tracking. And sure, you can come in, you can adjust the size of your letters if you want, but then, because you'll see they'll start to squish together, you'll have to come in and start adjusting your tracking and your offset in the other way. Okay? So just know that that will mess with those numbers. Oops, let me put this back to where it was. Okay. So that's how you're going to go about doing that. If you have any further questions, you can come and find me over at uh, Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. All right, guys. Thanks. And something really quick. If you come up here to get rid of this circle, if you come up here and you do break apart, that's really going to throw a monkey wrench in it, okay? If your letters touch, okay? So like here, my E touches just a tiny bit. If that is the case, what I need to do is I need to come in here, highlight just the E, go to Object, merge just that E back together, okay? Because if you merge things that are overlapping, what you will end up with is uh, holes okay so now I can come in here I can merge that back together and then they're all okay all right but if you have any that overlap do not do a full merge go in and merge them together separately okay let's take a look here and hopefully that nope see okay We'll have to handle this one. See how that looks? Let's do a preview. That cut line will still be present there. So this is one where you do not want to do that. So let me show you how to get rid of this circle. Let me take this back down to 35. Okay, so what we got to do is we have to come in here to object. You have to hit your break apart, okay? Well, that does this funky stuff with these letters. What you need to do to any letter that touches, pull it out, okay? You're going to object, merge that. Leave it sit right where it is. Come in, highlight just this. Do not catch the letters that are separately highlighted there, okay? Object, merge, okay? So now I'm going to pull this back in, put it right where it was, snugged up and overlapping that L. Okay, now.
Now I'm going to highlight everything else. Path Union. Okay. And that will join it perfectly. You see now? So that that cut line is not going to cut into there. But everything else is just fine where it lays. All right. This is when uh, understanding what merge versus union does. Um, when you have letters that, um, let me try to get the regular text tool. Let's type here. We'll just do an H and then an I. And let's put these, uh, that's a bad choice. An H, H and an E. Let's put these together because I want to show you what the, merge versus the union does okay so those are laying over top of each other let's do the object merge because i just want you to see okay see what that did let me blow it up here for you let me move this guy out of the way let me blow this up for you this is what merge does to letters do you see that okay so let's check our preview those are cut lines so that's what will be cut. That's what it looks like. Okay, it's never a good thing. Okay, let's type that out again. So let's do an H, then an E. Let's put it together. And then we are going to union this. Oops. Snap up there. Okay. So let's blow this up. And I'm doing this because when you do that, what I just showed you, I want you to understand why you have to pull some of them apart. Pull them out and then do it. Okay. So this is what the union does. It melts it all together. Okay. So that is what the union does. It melts it together. The merge destroys it. It does not give you what you want. Okay. So that's the difference. Hopefully that helps to have you understand why I pulled the E out, separately merged it, then joined it together and unioned it. Okay. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to come find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalp on Facebook. Thanks, guys.